Welcome to the unit on marketing environment. There is a popular saying which says, be a Roman in Rome. Man is a social animal. So, you have to understand the environment or surroundings in which you live and you have to adjust accordingly. Broadly, what I mean to say when you are in an environment is that there are two kinds of environments in which we live. One is external environment that is on which you do not have any control. The second one is internal environment that means the factors on which you have total control. So, if you want to be successful in any business, you have to understand these two factors and you have to work accordingly. Today, countries like India are more successful in apparel and textile business because all the factors of the environment that is external, that is in terms of cultural, economic, political, natural technological, India has all the support for the environment to be conducive. Hence, the fashion business from the external environment point of view is very conducive. When you look at internal, the textile and apparel industry is labor intensive. We have abundant and cheap labor available coupled with lot of resources like raw material yarn, fabric and also the machinery we have in abundance. Hence, from all point of view that is external and internal, the business has lot of potential to grow. Hence, it is utmost important to understand these environmental factors if any business is to be successful. Hence, we are dealing this important topic here. This unit comprises of three modules and a final assignment that invites you to apply what you have learnt. By the end of this unit, students will be able to understand the structure of fashion businesses and players. The students understand the micro marketing and macro marketing environment, analyze the facts, figures and trends of the business environment. The first module focuses on the environment structure and the players involved. The marketing environment consists of the actors and forces that affect a company's capability to operate effectively in providing products and services to its customers. It is useful to classify these forces into macro environment and micro environment. The macro environment refers to all forces that are part of the larger society and affect the micro environment. It includes concepts such as demography, economy, natural forces, technology, politics and culture. The micro environment consists of the actors in the firm's immediate environment 
that affects its capabilities to operate effectively in its chosen markets. The macro environment includes major forces that act not only on the firm itself but also on its competitors and on elements in the micro environment. The macro environment tends to be harder to influence than does the micro environment. Let us see what are the main elements of macro environment. The main elements of the macro environment are cultural, economical, technological, political and legal, natural. And let us see what are the micro environment consists. The micro environment consists of five forces close to the company that affect its ability to serve its customers. They are suppliers, employees, competitors, intermediaries and finally customers without whom no business exists. This flowchart shows the role of each apparel player. The first is the fiber, the raw material. India is the second largest producer of fiber in the world and the major fiber produced is cotton. India is traditionally very rich in cotton production. We know that as far as Indo Indus civilization, there was evidence of India producing cotton. Harappa, Mohenjo-Daro civilization also, we have found cotton. Other fibers produced in India include silk, jute, wool and man-made fibers. India is the third in production of cotton after China and USA, the second the textiles. The Indian textile industry is one of the largest in the world with a massive raw material and textiles manufacturing base. Unlike other major textile producing countries, India's textile industry is comprised mostly of small scale, non-integrated spinning, weaving, finishing and apparel making enterprises. The apparel manufacturing in India comprised of two distinct segments. One catering to exports and the other to domestic requirements. For example, Tirupur, Ludhiana, Bengaluru, Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Jaipur and Indore are the major tech garment production hubs. The next sector that is required for marketing is the retail sector. The retail sector in India is witnessing a huge change as traditional markets make way for new formats such as departmental stores, hypermarkets, supermarkets, malls and specialty stores. The Indian retail industry is one of the fastest growing industries in India especially over the last few years. The consumers are the center point of all marketing activities. They have become more demanding, expecting a cost effective deal in terms of both quality and pricing. 
fashion apparel industry is one of the fastest moving industries and is more consumer driven. Let us come to the exports. India's textile exports were estimated at 40 billion US dollars in 2013 compared with China's 274 billion US dollars. So, there is a lot of scope for India to grow in terms of exports and textiles include everything from fiber and yarn to fabric, made ups and ready made garments made of cotton, silk, wool and synthetic yarn. This module now focuses on the forces that can be controlled by the company that is micro environment. The micro level occurrences can affect any firm's ability to serve or to respond as needed to its customers, suppliers, intermediaries, selling markets and competitors. Now, let us discuss one by one. Suppliers or individuals or businesses that provide goods or services from one party to the other party. It supplies resources required to manufacture the product to the respective company or the firm. They are an important link in the company's overall customer value delivery system. One consideration is to watch supply availability and another point of concern is the monitoring of price trends of key inputs. The top management is responsible for setting the company's mission, objectives, broad strategies and policies. Marketing managers must make decisions within the parameters established by the top management. Marketing managers must also work closely with other company departments and areas such as R&D, purchasing, manufacturing, finance, etc. Now, let us discuss about the competitors. Competitors are those who serve a target market with products and services that are viewed by consumers as being reasonable substitutes. Company must gain strategic advantage against these organizations. Marketing oriented companies not only monitor and seek to understand customers, but also reach competitors and their brands to understand their strengths weaknesses, strategies and response patterns. Many times competitors start as a benchmark for many companies. Now, let us discuss about the next one intermediary. An intermediary is one part in the distribution channel which connect the producers and the buyers. Export intermediary is another branch of intermediary that connects domestic manufacturer and foreign buyers. The intermediaries make it possible for a company to deliver its products to the end user without needing to own the whole supply chain. The intermediaries are the independent groups or organizations within the channel that make the product available for the consumption. Customers are at the center of marketing philosophy. That is why the customers part a major part in the environment. And it is the task of marketing management to satisfy their needs and expectations better than the competition. Changing customer tastes, lifestyles, motivations and expectations need to be monitored so that the companies supply the appropriate
targeted marketing mix strategies that meet their needs. Now let us discuss the macro environment. Macro environment are the forces on which the company has no control. Hence, it has to frame its policies within the limits set by these forces. Let us discuss one by one. A cultural environment is a set of beliefs, practices, customs and behaviors that are found to be common to everyone that is living within a certain population. India is one of the most diverse countries on earth with hundreds of cultures, customs and traditions. The key challenge for a marketer here is to address the needs of different regions with strategies tailor made for the respective regions. The culture is one on which we do not have any control. Say for example, whatever effect we make, we cannot change the clothing needs of a conservative typical South Indians. Likewise, we cannot change the culture of any region. So, we have to offer the products which meet the cultural necessities of that region. The next major macro environment factor is economic. The economic environment consists of factors that affect consumer purchasing power and spending patterns. A company can successfully sell its products only when people have enough money to spend. Marketers need to monitor high inflation rates, high interest rates and low economic growth etc. When the economy is not doing well, whatever may be the effort, we would not be able to sell. That is why during recession, we were not able to export and to US and Europe and they were not buying our products. So, we have to keep the economic factor as a major consideration when we do business. Today's technology has impact most if not all aspects of our society. Fashion clothing, fashion bags, fashion accessories and everything that involves the fashion industry are greatly influenced by developments and innovations in technology. We do not have control over the technology and once the technology in, we have to make best use of that to be more successful. The next external factor is natural resources. The involvement of natural resources that are needed as inputs by marketers or that are affected by marketing activities is referred to as natural. A company has to adopt its policies within the limits set by nature. A man can improve nature, but cannot find an alternative for it. Nature offers resources, but in a limited manner. Companies must find the best combination of production for the sake of efficient utilization of the available resources. Otherwise, they may face acute shortage of resources. Now, let us discuss a major influencing factor in both internal and external environment is publics. This is a very practical factor that affects directly or indirectly the businesses, particularly the publics. What is a public? Any group that has an actual or potential interest in or impact on an organization's objectives. These are 
financial publics like banks, without their support, no business will be successful. The media publics, as I said, we are living in a society and in the modern society, you know the influence of the media. Again, they can make or mar the businesses. The government publics, the government also can make or mar the business. The citizen action publics, today there are more citizen action groups, so we have to work accordingly. The local publics, the people who are local are to be taken care of. That's why the CSR and other policies would help us in coping up with these kind of pressures. Then the general public, we have to take care of in general the population. The last but not the least is internal publics, our own employees. If they are happy, internal customers, they can make the external customers happy. So all these are the internal customers and also they are also called as the publics who are to be taken care in the environment. Now you have come to the end of this unit. To summarize in this unit you have analyzed and understood the fashion business environment. Now let's apply it and be successful. Thank you.